Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com um, So I've got the uh, HTC Evo 3D, um, I unrooted it and I'm gonna actually go root it again and some of you were having trouble and uh, since I've got better equipment, better microphone and LED flash since last time I made this video um, I might as well walk you through so about phone, I've actually updated to the latest 2.17.651.5 software number uh, which is the latest version. The root method hasn't changed. Um, it's the same, but I'm going to walk you through um, just to show you that it does work fine. Um, first, you'll have to uh, put it into fast boot mode. So let's do that. Um, the easiest way to do this is just take the battery power out, battery out, put it back in, put the cover back in, hold down the volume down, and the power button. Hold it down for one, two, three seconds, and you should see H boot uh, white screen there. And uh, with this better camera, you can see that uh, it looks better. Yours might say, since I I, um, I unlocked it using the HTC method before and relocked it uh, to unroot it, it says uh, relocked. But if you get a new Evo 3D, it won't say relocked. But it's the same thing. So just just go ahead and um, uh, bear with me here. And this should work actually pretty much the same method, um, just the different, you choose a different phone on the HTC dev site. Uh, for the any any kind of HTC phone, it's probably, probably going to be the same and you can probably pretty much use all the same files. Um, so I'm going to do this, uh, put it on fast boot and hit power button. Alright, and it says fast boot up there. And then you will connect a USB cable to your computer. You can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I have all the files. Um, you just have to use uh, fastboot dash Linux for Linux and fastboot dash Mac for uh, Macintosh or Mac. Sorry. Um, so I've got it. Oh, there we go. It should say fastboot USB. And let's go to our computer once that's set. Next, you're going to download a root evo 3d new.zip and unzip it. Um, I put it in my C directory under root evo 3d new, um, so it's easy to find. And uh, if you have Windows, you'll want to install um, the HTC driver. I have it on my site. I'll have links to the original root post. You can follow that. For Windows or Mac, you don't need any. Um, you can double check that you have a driver installed by going to Device Manager. If you don't know how to get to Device Manager for Windows, just go Google it. Uh, very easy to do. And uh, under... Um, you should get something like my HTC right there, or some kind of uh, Android um, ADB or my HTC. Anything works. Anything with an Android um, USB device or uh, ADB or my HTC works. So that's fine. I'm all good to go. Um, next, you'll open up a com command terminal. If you don't know how, um, just go Google it. Uh, for Windows 7, you can type CMD under start search, and then you're going to browse to this directory so cd backslash uh, that's actually um, backslash the opposite of that slash right there so it's uh, but I have a Korean font which makes it look like a W which is Korean uh, symbol for currency for one and I've said this a million times and now you know the backslash for Korean font is the W uh, the one symbol in Korean so that's actually backslash and do re root evo 3d new like that once you're in the directory. For Windows, uh, for Mac and Linux, it's the opposite backslash and root evo 3d new. And you might be on your, if you put it on your desktop, it might be like more like without the slash desktop um, slash root evo 3d new. Um, if you don't know how to browse directories, I suggest you Google it and learn about it. Not that hard to do. Um, next, what you'll type is uh, fastboot space oem space get space identifier space token alright and uh, you'll basically have to copy all this stuff here now here's the part um, you can do for Windows you can just do mark and then start uh, where it starts right uh, the dash dash right there and then end it right there and then if you do right click it'll, it'll actually copy it to your to your uh, well copy it and you can uh, don't. I suggest you open up a uh, notepad and paste it first for Windows. I'm not sure about Linux or Mac, um, 
but what happens is, oh actually that's fine, just double check there's no spaces there, it's exactly like that, because sometimes uh, it will add a space and you'll have to get rid of the space. Now once you've got that verified, recopy it, uh, copy, and then we'll go to the HTC dev site and uh, we'll enter the code. If you go to httdev.com, uh, you'll have to um, sign up. So uh, sign up, register, and log in. I'm gonna log in here, and then um, all right, go to uh, home. Oh, unlock bootloader. Go to uh, unlock bootloader menu, and you can select HTC Evo 3D or whatever your device you're using. Um, so let's hit get started there. By the way, I'm drinking this Bacchus D. It's Korean drink. It's like it's really good. It's kind of like a Red Bull, a Korean Red Bull. Um, okay, next uh, you you can choose um, for Evo 3D uh, or all these other phones. You can use the same method. Let me show you here. I'm gonna choose um, Evo 3D Sprint. If you have Rogers, choose Rogers. If you have EMEA, choose EMEA. Um, if you have all these other phones, choose it. Um, so. I'm going to choose Evo 3D Sprint and begin unlock bootloader. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's stupid. Um, all right, um, where we go? I don't know what happened, Mike. Oh, there we go. Do you wish to continue? Say yes. All righty then. It's going, going. Um, it's going. So basically, you'll you'll paste the code you copied earlier, um, and you'll get a uh, you'll get a unlock underscore code dot bin file sent to your email. Um, so check both. Proceed to unlock instructions. And uh, we've actually done all these steps. So just ignore it. Go to proceed to step five. And um, skip all this. Skip all. Go to step eight. Because uh, if you follow my directions, we just did all of that and all of this. We just did it. And uh, go back here and go down here. My device identifier token. Do a right click and paste. Um, so that's your identifier co token. And submit. Hit the submit button. And it's, if you get token submitted successfully, you're good to go. If you get errors here. That means uh, um, you probably have spaces while while you're copying your sys your operating system added to space or something. So that's why I used a notepad to make sure there's no spaces in front because that's what was happening last time I was reading this. All right. Next, you'll want to uh, check your email, and uh, I'm gonna go to my email. And you don't have to be on the HCC site here. Let's go to my email here. And here's my uh, key to unlocking your HTC device. And uh, I'm going to open it and save it. Um, oh, it says con click continue the bootloader unlocking device. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Don't worry about it. Just download it. Uh, you have an attachment unlock underscore code dot bin. Download it. And then you'll want to move this file into the same folder as the root evo 3D new directory. So I'm gonna do um, show in folder. All right, and I'm just gonna do a copy. I'm just gonna copy. You don't have to. You can cut or whatever. Go to C drive uh, root evo 3D new. I'm gonna paste it here. All right, paste, and uh, uh, it's gonna write over the old one I used. Copy and replace. Hit that. So it's copied over. And we're going to go back to the uh, command prompt and we're going to type something and it will unlock our phone. That's pretty much done. So we're going to type fast boot flash unlock token um, unlock underscore code dot bin. And make sure you capitalize that and a lot of people didn't do that and keep telling me it doesn't work but it does work. Um, so I'll show you that um, you'll see that. Let's zoom in here. This is my cool camera here. And I uh, will actually, there we go. Hit enter and it should say um, unlocked. 
I'm going to hit enter now. Ready, set, go. And uh, you'll get the screen. Um, choose volume up and then power button. Yes, and it will reboot, I think, into a bootloader again. And you should get uh, unlocked. So now it's been unlocked. Your bootloader, bootloader has been unlocked. Um, next, we're going to use uh, fast boot again. If you're using Mac and Linux, um, the, the command is dot slash fastboot dash Mac or dot slash fastboot dash Linux. If you're on Ubuntu, you might have to write sudo space uh, fastboot dash Linux. I'll have a, I'll, I'll add those instructions to my original booting post um, for Linux users, uh, so you can check that. Um, don't check it now. Maybe check it in like a couple hours or maybe tomorrow. I'll update it. Um, but the fast boot files are in there. And uh, oh, you know what? I'll have to. It's actually rebooting, but uh, we can double check that it's unlocked since we need to get back into it. Um, take the battery out again. And then um, I'm getting hungry. That's why I'm doing it fast. Hold down the volume down and the power button. It's almost dinner time. I wasted a couple hours painting menu. There, see, there you go. So it's uh, unlocked and um, choose fast boot and hit power button again. It will say fast boot and we'll connect the this again the USB cable. And it should say uh, fast boot USB. And let's go back to the command prompt and we're gonna flash. Uh, Amon raw recovery. Basically, it's the clockwork mod recovery for Evo 3D. You don't want to use ROM manager because Evo 3D is not compatible with ROM manager. Well, it kind of is, but you won't be able, you'll get a lot of boot loops if you use that clockwork mod recovery. Um, so, let's do fast boot. Uh, right, hold on. Yes, uh, fast boot space flash space recovery space cwm dash 4.0.1.4. dash shooter dot img you can also download the twerp um, it's on my site accbohacks.com um, and flash that instead it's the same but just a different image but uh, you can just do this for now so you have a recovery so I flashed the recovery and uh, let's go to um, Let's go to the recovery now, and we're going to copy a file over. Um, go to bootloader, hit the power button, and then go to recovery, hit the power button, and this will get us into the recovery we just flashed. That was the command we just used. So I've got the revolutionary clock remote recovery. This is fine. This works fine. Um, I, I said, Amon, sorry, that was for Amon raw recovery is for Evo. 4G, I've, I've got confused. So this is fine. There's a bunch of different different recoveries, but they all do the same thing. Um, so it doesn't really matter where you have twerp, twer revolutionary, or whatever. And uh, make sure you have an SD card inserted. Um, if you don't, insert it, and you can get back into this menu. Volume down, power, get into bootloader, and then choose uh, recovery. And uh, we'll actually mount it to copy a file over. Mount in storage, hit the power button and go to mount USB storage, hit the power button. And this will mount it as a, uh, this will mount your SD card. <coughs> and uh, next what we'll do is uh, go back to the folder, whoops, not this one. Go back to the folder uh, where, you, where everything is there and uh, do a right click on SU 2.35, uh, 2.3, whatever, copy, copy the SU starting with that file. And then go to your your uh, SD card, which is there, and then you can put it um, anywhere. I just put it in the root directory and do a paste. So I have the file. Whoops. File right there. All right. And uh, next, next. Uh, let me switch the camera angle so you can see better. Next, we'll go back here. Um, just hit power button to unmount. You don't need your USB cable anymore. And uh, basically, we're going to flash the su.zip file, um, which basically gives you root. Go back. Um, go to install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Um, go find the file. You can also go from the bottom up. su-that file right there. 
uh, the one we copied over. Hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button, and it says it's complete and when you reboot you should be rooted. Um, even though it's S on, it's fine. Uh, one thing, when you now install kernels, there's three ways to do it now. Um, my, meth my recommended method is to use the HTC dumb lock uh, method. Um, basically, what happens is that if you use the HTC unlock method, uh, when you tr try to flash kernels, um, it won't flash the kernels because it's locked. But you can flash ROMs. Um, now here's the thing, when you flash a new ROM, it comes with a custom kernel. Um, then you'll you won't it won't flash the kernel, but it will flash the rest of the ROM, and you'll end up in a boot loop. That's why you have to use a method like ACC dumb lock, um, which basically uh, allows you to flash everything. Or there's also a flash image GUI app that you can use, and also there's a way to uh, use fastboot. Um, basically, you can launch um, the the recovery from uh, fastboot to do it. So there's three methods, but you can't just go into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery or the Revolution or whatever um, straight just on your phone and do it. You have to use one of those three methods, and the two of those methods you can do it without a computer. The fastboot method you'll need a computer. So I've got to reboot it. Um, we should have root, and I'll also show you how to uh, update the root uh, because the root files are in there. In my rooting files are old, um, but you can update it easily. Just go there and um, go to super user app and you can update very easy. So we're almost done here. I don't know how long that took, but it should have been faster. Skip. Um, next. 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 Agree. Next. Alright. Um, it's because. I don't know why it's all starting. It shouldn't actually do that. Oh, does it do that? Does it erase everything? Not sure. Um, oh, you know what? No, no, I just don't know. I'm not sure. Let me see. It shouldn't erase everything. Does it erase everything? Not sure. Let me see. But I should have roots now. Um, let's go to there. There. Um, there, I have super user. And let's update the binaries. You can also update the. Uh, oh, it says it's up to date. You can go to the market, go sign up, and you can go to uh, see this uh, super user and update it. Let me do this. Let me sign in. So um, it's probably going to update to the Google Play soon, but it's still showing Google mark, uh, the market. So type super user so you can update the super user app. Um, the old version and the new version, they pretty much do the same thing. It just looks different. So actually, there's no actually enhancements, as far as I know. Update uh, super user. And let's update it real quick. And uh, my phone just started up and syncing everything, so that's why. Okay, now it's probably just trying to. Okay, let me just try to update. Hit OK. Okay, and uh, hopefully I'll update before all this. Yeah, see, it's trying to update all these things. So I'll be back when this is done. So it's going, uh, while this is going on, let me tell you, uh, for those of you new to rooting Evo 3D, um, if you just want Wi-Fi Tether uh, hacked, um, just download Android Wi-Fi Tether. Go Google it, and you can download the latest version. It will be on the APK file. Download it and allow unknown sources, install it, and you can use your phone as a, a free 3G or 4G um, Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, don't use the on onboard uh, Sprint hotspot app. And you can connect multiple devices. Um, and also you can install custom ROMs that have 3G, 4G uh, hotspot hacked. But I forget which ROM actually has both 3G, 4G hacked. I'm trying to search for that ROM again. If you, uh, if you know, let me know. Um, so it's, is it updating? Uh, no, it's just still the old user. There we go. It's installing. In the other notes, um, I'll have an un, un, unrooting video right after this um, because I forgot to do that. And I actually just unrooted it. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. Oh, there we go. Super user completed. Um, so I'm going to open it up. This is the new version. 
Um, hit menu, preferences, let's go update the SU binaries. Um, tap to check for updates and this will update you to the latest version. Hit update and it'll, it'll give you um, it'll give you that super user re request. Hit allow really quick and it'll update you to 3.3.2 um, so my super user oops I'm doing it again allow, um, has been updated and also my uh, SU binaries. You don't have to do it I just did it for fun and also to show you that this phone has been rooted um, so it's been fully rooted. Um, this should work so long as uh, HTC doesn't change their method. It should actually work on ICS too. Um, so there you go. I've uh, rooted my phone again, and I'll have another uh, unrooting video soon, uh, right after this. Anyway, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel at HTCEvoHacks.com. Um, uh, subscribe to our email list where we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips and more um, it's just for you and me it's uh, we don't share your email with any spammy companies or some weird stuff that some people do um, and also you can, if you're on YouTube you can hit that like button um, and subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video I think button right here um, on Twitter Facebook and uh, Google Plus or your mom and your kids you know That'd be great and sister and brother um, and thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my channel and my my sites and you guys rock and I hope um, you root your phone fast as you can and this should work on uh, the files in here should work on any HTC uh, unlock any any phone that's supported in on their HTC dev site the method is identical so you can try this it's not just for Evo 3D because the super user file um, can be used for anything. Um, actually, you know what? Everything except for the, the, the recovery where, where we flash the uh, fast boot flash recovery CWM. Um, you'll have to find the clockwork mount recovery image for that uh, phone you're using, and that's about it. But other than that, it should be exactly the same. So, anyway, thanks, y'all. Um, that was kind of long. See y'all later.